What's going on guys? It's John from Behind a Diamond. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while uh, since I did a pickup video. Uh, I have been picking up a lot of stuff lately. I've been to a few shows, but you, you all know I've been saying it. Uh, I coach high school basketball, so I've been very, very busy the last couple of weeks, playoff-wise, a lot of practices, a lot of hours and stuff like that. But uh, now I get a little bit of a break before I coach AAU. I picked up a bunch of stuff, uh, shows and uh, house deals and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, I also picked up partial sets uh, from 1961 to 1967. So right now uh, I'm working on finishing the 1967 set. Uh, and I've been... I actually been, I think I'm only about 60 cards away, uh, and I'll probably be able to finish that really, really quick. Uh, the biggest card that I need to get is Tom Seaver's rookie in that, uh, in 1967, so that's pretty good. I have the uh, Rock Carew, I got the Mantle, I got the Clemente, and stuff like that. So, uh, all right, so yeah, this is it. This is the drill. You guys know, uh, I'll tell you, I think I'll tell you everything, but like one stack, I think I forgot one stack here that I forgot what I paid. Uh, but I'll tell you what I paid for the majority of this stuff, and uh, we'll go right to it, all right? Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you for watching my last videos. Uh, go back, you know, watch all my uh, show vlogs and all that stuff. There's going to be a lot of content uh, moving forward. So, uh, all right, guys, so enjoy. Uh, I guess I'll start with this one. It's pretty pretty easy. It's uh, two Jita back cards, game used. Uh, I picked this up at the Plainview show on Sunday for 25 bucks for the pair. Uh, I won't turn down Jita, Jita jerseys, game used jerseys, and game used bats cards for, you know, I mean, two for 25 that's pretty good. I could probably get 15 to $20 a piece on these. So that, that was one deal. Talking about Jita, we'll go along with this. I picked this up at the Babylon show. Uh, a Jita jersey, actually five Jita jersey cards, a couple with stripes and stuff like that. And this was about 55 bucks for the five of them. So you can't go wrong with that because I could probably sell them for 15 bucks a piece. Make a little bit of money there. Probably about $20, $25 on top of what I spent. So we got that. I picked up this card right here, this mantle card with the stripe. It's just an awesome card. I paid 80 bucks for it. I probably can get about 120 bucks for this card. If not, I'll keep it. It's a mantle, a nice mantle, uh, sweet spot, pinstripe, jersey card. All right, this one, Stockton, a uh, UD, uh, UD Premier, John Stockton, number to 50. Uh, I picked this up at the Babylon show uh, for $110. And anything Stockton, anything Manningly, you, you, you guys know that I'm gonna buy it if it's at a good price. I think I paid. Pl I think I paid pretty strong for this. I probably can get 150 for it, but uh, you know, 110 is is pretty fair. All right. This I picked up for 60 bucks. It's an Andrew Jones autograph, a Trevor Hoffman, and a David Ortiz. I was thinking that I can probably get about 60 to 75 dollars on the David Ortiz alone. So the rest is, in my head, is free. So I got that right there. All right, I picked this up, a Roy Campanella, uh, top sterling piece, four piece, two jerseys, or actually three jerseys and a bat, number 10 of 10 for 40 bucks. Uh, I mean, this, this type of stuff doesn't pop up on eBay that often. So, you know, you can ask 75 bucks, 80 bucks for this. Uh, I mean, a, book, a Brooklyn Dodger fan will definitely buy this card. I just think it's an awesome card. All right. This uh, I got in, in a trade at the Babylon show uh, with some kid. Uh, so it's uh, Amari Stottmeyer. Autograph there. Numbered to 49. I'll just throw this in my bargain box. All right. This I ended up trading with somebody. I think I traded him an Adrian Peterson patch card and a couple other cards out of my boxes. Uh, for Hideki Matsui, number to 10, and a uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr., number to 99. Just two autographs that are liquid that I can always sell, you know, even though they're probably about 80 bucks a piece, maybe 80 to 100 bucks a piece. So I got that. All right. This I picked up at the Little Hofstra show uh, for 100 and I think $120, a Robin Yount. Uh, rookie, 1975 tops. 
uh, PSA 7. And you know, guys, this, he's one of my favorite players. What, 10 years in center field, 10 years at shortstop, just uh, a Hall of Famer. Uh, he, he, was, he was great. Used to love watching him play. All right, so I picked that up. Along with coming with the vintage. Uh, so I picked this lot up for 100 bucks. I really think this was a really good lot for $100. A Willie McCovey, PSA 6, 1964. Tommy Hendricks, 1948 Bowman, PSA 6. Tony Kubek, uh, 1961, PSA 6. And a Jerry Coleman, 1950 Bowman, PSA 7. All this for 100 bucks. I think I can get 60 bucks for this alone. And then this got to be at least 60 to 75. So, you know, the rest is is all good. All right. Stick with the vintage. I pick this up. Uh, 1967 uh, Roberto Clemente, PSA 5, for $120. I'm actually going to add this to my set. Maybe keep it graded. Or maybe, I, I don't know, I don't think I should crack it out, but I think I'll just keep it graded and just add it to the set. This is what I needed. I think I, uh, you know, like I told you, I think I need like 50 to fifty to 60 cards left to complete that set. And now the Seaver is the biggest card, so. All right, so that. Uh, I picked up this uh, nice Mike Schmidt triple threads with a stripe, a bat, jersey. Blast and Steals, number 9 of 9. I can never turn down Mike Schmidt. I do a lot of uh, shows in, in PA area, and I visit a lot of stores there, too. Uh, a lot of people know me over there, so I can always bring this over there, and I can always move it. I'll move it for some Yankee stuff, trade it or whatever. Uh, if not, I'll just keep it along with my other 25 to 30 Mike Schmidt autographs. So I got that. All right. Uh, this was pretty cool. I got this off of my buddy Craig. Uh, he thought about me when he uh, when he saw this, uh, so he actually bought it. We traded. It was like a trade cash deal thing. I think I spent thirty bucks for it. Uh, and it says uh, to John Bill Dickey, uh, PSA DNA to cut uh, Yankee catcher. Just a, just just a great card right there. I think I'm just gonna keep this. I'm not gonna sell it. I'll just put it in my uh, my showcases in the back over here. So that's pretty cool. I bought this Mariana Rivera card uh, for a hundred bucks. I could probably get one forty to one fifty, no problem. All right, I picked these cards up. This was a great, this was a great deal. A uh, hundred bucks for these uh, Frank Robinson number to forty nine, tops tier one. A Carlton Fisk number to forty, tops gold label. A John Smoltz, five star, and a Steve Carlton, five star. I mean, twenty five dollars each on these. I mean, you can't go wrong. The Frank Robinson is probably about fifty bucks. Fisk is probably fifty bucks. Steve Carlton's maybe forty. Smoltz forty. So I'm almost doubling up my money on that, and have a nice Hall of Fame inventory. Just add it all up to my my the rest of my stuff. All right, this lot was pretty cool. I got this lot for three hundred and fifty dollars. Robin Yount, two Robin Younts, number two ninety. That tops collection. So these cards are great. A Ted Simmons, number to ninety nine, ninety nine of ninety nine. Another Robin Yount, number twenty of twenty five. A Johnny Bench, number nine of thirty. And a Barry Larkin, number to 99. I picked this up for 350 bucks. The Barry Larkin, I probably can get about 50 bucks for. The Johnny Bench, maybe 130. The Robin Yount, probably like 130 for this. Ted Simmons, probably 40 bucks. And these are probably 80 each. So I think I did pretty good on that. New Tops product. Awesome cards there. This, I actually forgot how much I paid for. Um, I know he's a li he's a, a listener and watcher uh, to the show, so I guess maybe he'll, he'll remember. I bought this at the Babylon show, I believe, uh, for... I'm, I'm not really too sure, but the two Ricky Henderson autos. 
a Nolan Ryan in a Mets uniform, number to 50, a Cal Ripken, number to 5, and a Johnny Bench, number to 25. This is the stuff that I love, guys. It's uh, really, really liquid stuff. I can actually, I can move it. I definitely can sell it. Uh, if not, I don't mind keeping it. So, Howard, buddy, uh, I don't know if, I, I don't remember how much I paid. Maybe in the comments below, you can tell me how much I paid. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right. So, a buddy of mine, uh, Anthony, uh, Rock Island Cards on Instagram. You should give him a follow. Great guy. Uh, he does my shows all the time. And this is what he gave me at the Plainview show. I thought it was really, really nice of him. Really cool. It's a, you know, you could put cards in it and stuff like that. I can actually put it in my office. I can use it for something else. Uh, but I really thought it was a nice, uh, nice thing. Thanks a lot, Anthony. All right, pretty cool with the Behind the Diamond logo right there. I could put some cards in it, organize it. Maybe put some of my Manningly stuff in it. Cool stuff right there. Thanks a lot, Ant. All right, now, this lot I picked up at the Plainview show uh, for 240 bucks, along with some commons. There was a bunch of commons, uh, but a little bit better than some commons. There was some 3 to $5 cards, $10 cards, but this was the better stuff. So a 1962 uh, Apparitio, a Robin Roberts. We got a Nelly Fox, all-star card, Apparitio, all-star card. We have a bunch of 1960s, Nelly Fox, Robin Roberts, 59s, Bobby Richardson, Rich, uh, Richie Ashburn, Felipe Alou is a rookie card right there, Cepeda, Gil Hodges, 1960, a Billy Williams, 1962, a Marichal High Number, 1962, Cepeda. These rookie parades are really, really tough. I got a lot of them here. Uh, the best one is the, uh, the Bob Euchre right there. And then Ed Charles, just a bunch of good stuff. All these rookie parades are short printed. All right, some 1962 stuff. Casey Stangle, Tim McCarver, Gil Hodges, Elston Howard. Really good condition, too. I was really surprised. Dodges, Norm Cash, except for this one. This one's a little beat up. Uh, but it's Norm Cash's uh, rookie. You could probably take that off. It's a little bit of wax, just a little creased. Uh, but stuff like that. In a slaughter, Sparky Anderson rookie, Robin Roberts, Jim Bunning, Cepeda, Aparicio, Colavito. Just a bunch of bunch of cool stuff. I picked this lot up for two hundred and forty bucks, along with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I really think I made out on this deal. It was pretty cool. Pretty good. You know, it's, it's hard to sell some, you know, vintage, some off condition. But this stuff is actually really, really nice. Not many. I mean, maybe a couple of the cards have creases in them. But a couple of them are off scented. But really, really nice looking uh, cards for, you know, 62s and 59s and 60s. So that was 240 bucks. All right. This lot, I thought it was a really good deal, too. I picked this lot up for 400 bucks. It's a uh, Joe Morgan rookie. Uh, SGC 4.5. Steve Carlton 68, a 6.5. A Tom Tresh rookie, a 6. Drysdale 1968, and a 7. Ernie Banks 1967, and a 6. A Brooks Robinson 1966, and a 4.5. A Frank Robinson in a 1965 and a 4. And a Clemente in a 4. 1973. Alone, I think this Clemente goes for about 60 bucks. The Robinson goes for about 60. That goes for 50. That goes for 60. So right there is like a little over 200 bucks. The uh, Don Drysdale goes for about 75 bucks. The Tresh goes for about 50 bucks. The Carlton goes for about 60 and the Morgan goes uh, about 80 to 100. So I think I really did did good there, and they're sellable cards. You know, mostly all Hall of Fame is here except for Tresh, right? So that was a pretty good deal. So I've been really, really active. And then the last thing was I bought this deal at the Plainview show. 
It was a three row box. Three row box of stuff. Baseball, football, basketball. Uh, I kind of sorted it out already. Uh, this, These two rows here are probably like cards that are a dollar to three dollars. And this row here was was like the jersey cards and the rookies and stuff like that. So, you know, rookie cards, colored cards, all, you know, stuff that I could put in boxes and discount boxes and stuff like that of all popular players. Football, baseball, basketball, jerseys and autos and rookies and numbers and silvers and stuff like that. And it was a whole row here. So this is how I kind of break it down a little bit. Uh, I spent 150 bucks on this box, uh, and if ever if I sell every card here for a dollar each, I'm I'm probably doubling up, doubling up my money. And then if I sell everything here for three dollars each, you know that you know that's how it goes. So uh, I think it was a really good deal, and I appreciate the deal. Uh, so that's that. So I've been pretty active. Uh, I've been buying a lot of stuff, and along with what I said was, uh, you know, with those 1961 to 1967 partial sets, which uh, I'm going to be working on. I'm going to definitely make those sets. So I'll have every set from 1960. I have the 1960 set already. I'm going to have every set from 1960 to 2023. That's my goal. Uh, and I'm only like 50 to 60 cards away from the 1967. And. My next set that I'm going to be working on would be the 1966. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know I love doing this type of stuff. Just giving you guys a little input on how much I paid. Uh, why I turned down stuff and things like that in my show vlogs. Uh, so uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, peace out. Thanks for watching.